Hello everyone, welcome to Cause Streams TV. I'm Cause, and I just want to say a quick thank you for spending some time checking out my videos. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button as it goes a long way in letting me know what you want to see more of. Now, let's jump into the video. Alright, welcome back everyone to Cause Streams TV. Week 2 of Season 4 is over, and we get to go take a look at the vault. Let's first talk about how last week actually went. I had a fairly busy week, so I wasn't really pushing a lot of keys. I did, last night I actually did seven keys on my death night. Uh, obviously we did the heroic and normal raid on the monk, plus we got two mythic raid vault slots. So I'm looking forward to that. And surprisingly enough, one of the things we talked about at the end of week's one video is we were hoping to get some gear on the monk, and surprisingly we did. Huh? But the DK on the other side, out of eight dungeons, all we received was a neck piece. Really rough week for the DK. Something I was concerned about last week was the affixes. It was fortified and bolstering and tangling wasn't too bad. And unfortunately, and I'm going to be honest, I was playing the monk and he just, he, he felt very squishy, very weak. I was really struggling getting um, higher keys done. We were trying to do some 10s, 11s, 12s. I, I wasn't able to stay alive. I was dying to adds before they even were bolstered. So we do a fairly normal pull and then I would just kind of fall, flop over. So it was really frustrating on the monk, even rolling defensive, trying to maintain my stagger. I just don't know what it is. People are saying it should just be a gear issue, and once we get up a little more, I'll be okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Monk just versus magic and uh, physical damage. Magic especially, monk really suffers, right? Uh, there was some class tuning. We got nerfed across the board when it comes to damage, which is absolutely ridiculous. Just because there's a few people who are pushing on the monk and doing, doing very well, I don't think the rest of the community should suffer, and that's kind of what we ran into. 10% nerfs to Cake Smash, Spinning Crane Kick, and Summon White, White Tiger Statue. Really painful for us. Kind of fun to see the damage numbers on a monk. That's kind of their niche, right? Like, that's what we do. We do a lot of damage, and we get hit really, really hard at the same time, right? So having that loss is going to be impactful. So I'll see how he feels this week. But unfortunately, it's not a fort week, so it's really hard to compare when you're up against a tyrannical week versus a fort week, especially fort and bolstering. Even kiting sometimes, like, Notharius was a terrible key. We tried that in 11, and as soon as you walk in there, a pack bolsters, and you just get one shot, right? You can't turn your back even for a second, so if you roll too late or something goes wrong, it's you kind of just fall over. So that was a struggle. The other thing they did to the monks is actually increase the effectiveness of stagger against magical attacks up to 55% from 45. So that is good. That should help a little bit since there's so much magic damage in this expansion. Then the healing sphere increase, uh, healing increased by 10%. That is another good change. Overall, I don't think that's enough to really, you know, move the bar on Monk. I think they what they've actually done is moved us down a few notches, now taking away our damage. So we'll see. I will continue playing the Monk and see how he feels. But let's take a look at some of the gear upgrades he got last week. So as I was talking, uh, as I mentioned last week, I was really hoping we'd get the weapon. And of course, we were in Heroic or Shock, and I was the only one who needed it. So we did manage to acquire Jeroon's. We upgraded it all the way to 6 of 6, so it's now 522. That was extremely exciting when I got that in the raid. On top of that, we got a few pieces. We do have our 4 piece now. Uh, we ended up catalyzing everything we could. We went and did Mythic Rashok, and it was just it was a real struggle. I was dying with like 10k overkills. I was 499, 493 item level. And yeah, I was dying with like 10k overkill, 10k overkill, 50k overkill. So it was really frustrating, so I took a minute and got my 4 piece set up. All right, so yeah, we catalyzed the headpiece, we catalyzed the chest. Those are both mythic track, which is great. We, we uh, used the token for the shoulders, and then we also got the legs uh, from the tier token piece, right? So, so he got he has his four piece now. It's kind of funny. And then we also, uh, I one of the belts I got, Chris Verse. I started using it just due to the stats. It is worth it. And then we also got the hands from Normal Sark. These are our best in slot hands with our boolean. Since we already acquired Jeroen's weapon, we actually decided to, as you would expect, take Seal Darren as chosen for the fire damage. So with all these in mind and a couple bumps in eye level and a lot of gear, Monk is up to 505, 56. I still think I need to really work on that. I've been trying to get my boots recrafted. There's no luck so far on Hyjal. And then I also need to get my wrist set up. If anyone knows a crafter on Hyjal, let me know down below in the comments. And then I can actually uh, maybe get my wrists and my feet done. But yeah, so that's the monk in regards to his item level. Taking a look at the keys we've done. As I said, it was not a successful week when it, in terms of timing. Keys, nines were fairly easy. But once we pushed to the 10, 11 range, it just wasn't working out. Even the 12, just we didn't even get past that very far. 
But looking it over, we got a 10 Wildemon completed, uh, failed 11 Azure Vaults, failed 11 Nothar 10 Notharis, failed 11 Ruby Life Pools, 9 Nokud, 9 Algothar Academy, and 9 Halls of Infusion. Uh, the monk will have all three Mythic Vault slots for dungeons, and then also all three Heroic Vault slots. So this brings up our total IO to 22.99, a significant improvement from last week because we were, I think we were at like 800 IO, so significant increase here. So this week we should be able to push that up significantly since like we have very low keys on Tyrannical. Now let's take a look at what we get in our vault. I will open it in Windwalker spec because why not? Let's see what we get. For, although I do want, out of Nokud under Brewmaster, we do want the Enduring Scale or we want from bracket hide we want tree mount splinter however from a raid because we have the mythic vault slots it, you know it's tempting to let's see what do we get is there anything worth taking it might be worth rolling in brew just because there's so much that we could actually acquire this week higher chances on damage trinkets we could use like dragon bomb dispenser so for the first time in a long time i am going to open it in brew uh for the defensive trinket opportunity so, and then other than that, hopefully we get some Mythic Track tier or, or a Trinket or something that we can use. Uh, let's take a look at what do we get in our vaults. I feel it. This got to be a good week. Last week was terrible. This has to be a good week. Come on. Oh my god. So out of Mythic, we got a very good Critverse Ring. One of our Biss from that season with a Socket. We have Seal of Diurnus chosen, which we now have at 528 on the Awakened track. This one is Mythic track with a socket. We have Hero track head tier, which we already have because we catalyzed the Mythic track last week. We have the Burgeoning Seed, not very useful, unfortunately. We have Mythic track head, and then we have the Mythic uh, Hero track, Forge Storm. But we got Forge Storm last week. So I think on the Monk, I'm going to take the ring. Uh, it's not our best in slot ring. That actually comes from... So it's not our best in slot ring. Our best in slot ring comes from Rashok, the Tormenting Siphoning Signet. That doesn't come around for a couple more weeks. Just actually, no. Realistically, because I might take the other ring, the fillet. Fill the fillet. Fillil of Duty. Uh, I'm going to take sockets, actually. And socket two items, because sockets are cheap this season. So let's do that, because rings are plentiful. Definitely going to socket our headpiece. And definitely going to socket our ring. And what, is, what does the monk start with this week? The monk kicks off the week with the 10 Algathar Academy. We're going to get our sockets. We're at 50506. He's got some raids to do. I am looking forward to that. And up next, we have the Death Knight. How did the Death Knight feel last week? Honestly, I was doing, I mainly focused on doing 8s and 9s on them just to fill my vault because I was running really late last night. I stayed up later than I should have, but I wanted to get my full 8 keys done. I had to do all 7. However, I did do like a 10 Bracken Hide. Uh, we had some ish challenges with the DPS and the healer. And the healer, overall though, like the DK felt really good. Um, much better than the monk. I was pulling big trash packs. DK suffers from the same thing. And if you go into a pack, even sometimes with a defensive, if I didn't have the cheat death trinket or I didn't have purgatory, I would definitely fall over and die. So usually I kind of pulled around having cheat death trinket or purgatory available just because it was a little scary. There is times where I would walk in. Yep. Sure enough. Ruby life pools is one of those. You skip the first pack. You go into that room. You try to gather everything up. When I start kind of backing out of that, even just before I can get to a lock gate, cheat death would pop either way it it actually felt good the death knight felt much more enjoyable to play than the monk surprisingly because he was the one i played in season two of dragonflight and i had str uh, struggled a lot with him and it was very frustrating so it was kind of refreshing that to see that dk was in a much better spot and his damage has increased significantly as well for my gear upgrades i got nothing on all the keys i did i got this neck piece that's it i got a hero track neck piece i put all three of my sockets in it and i put gems in it that is all he got i haven't done any upgrades either like for the tier that we have i didn't upgrade anything outside of last week that you are that you guys already know about so no huge changes on the dk in regards to his gear still pretty much the same uh and then we're gonna let's take a look at the keys he actually completed so first of all we went up to 25 12 io we were at 1893 i believe at the end of the week and yeah now we're at 25 12 so i'm really happy with that i wanted to hit 2500 and i did it was much easier to hit it on him than it was the monk um, as you can see, so we focused on 8 and 9s, like I said. Uh, 8 Nokud, 8 uh, Uldemon, 10 Brackenhide. We were really close to timing this, just had some challenges, and at the end, a couple people released, so we lost about 2 minutes of running back. But we could have timed it. We were about 2 minutes over, actually, with the deaths and with the boss timing. So 
that could have been timeable, not too concerned. We have eight, eight halls of infusion, nine ruby life pools, nine azure vaults, nine Nultheris, and a nine a failed nine Algothar Academy. The one thing I did enjoy about the DK is, is his ability to control the packs and bring them together. Slappy hands and then also having double grip was really nice. Uh, so he has a lot of control, which felt really good compared to the monk, because with the monk, I'm kind of waiting for the packs to come in. And something I've noticed that I've struggled with is aggro, because DPS don't stop to think that I need a second to pull aggro, right? So I'll pull two packs from the left and right, kind of stand in the middle, hoping they'll come to me. Unfortunately, even with a second cake smash and breath of fire, like the, the like pallies use, will, will use their uh, legendary. And it's just, unfortunately... It's really challenging to pick up aggro. With the DK, I didn't have that problem as much because I could pull everything together. Very refreshing to play the DK. I'm really happy with the performance that I had with the DK. Um, so yeah, 25-12. I don't have any videos for you guys who did time a 10 uh, Uldemon on the Monk. Unfortunately, uh, the key wasn't the Kalinia, so I don't feel it was necessary post. But let's take a look at what the Death Knight is going to have on in his vault. We still need to look for DPS items, so I'm just going to roll on on Holy Spec and see what we get. All right, let's see what we got. We have a Crit Mastery Ring, which would be a significant upgrade over the 476 Mythic Track. Mythic Track um, Chest, which we could catalyze. And then we also have Mythic Track Feet. So we have Hero Track Feet. Uh, probably not going to take that one, but the Chest Piece actually wouldn't be a bad idea because I believe we have another piece that we can catalyze that is Mythic Track or higher. We have the head, shoulder, head, and hands right now. That is two piece. Yeah, so we already have Mythic Track shoulders. So if we put the shoulders on, and then we also grab this chest piece, we can catalyze this this week, and that will give us our four piece. So we are definitely going to do that with the DK. And let's see what his item level will jump to once we complete the catalyzation. So after upgrading the shoulders and getting us our four and four piece, we, are, we went from 499 to 503. So not bad for the DK. I'm hoping to get some more upgrades. I still need to get his second Boolean. So I'll probably do the weekly. And then I also need to do some upgrades and potentially recraft his ring. So I may focus on that this week and see what his item level jumps up to. Definitely going to push a little more on the DK. He has some raid bosses that he will be brought in for in Mythic. And I'm hoping I can bring him to the Heroic Ferrak kill so I can get... Oh no! so i can get the uh, legendary hopefully i can get it i've been i'm still trying to get it last week i didn't even find any actual groups that were running for ack when i was on so unfortunately i couldn't even attempt to try to get it so yeah we'll see what happens with him and we have one more character that we need to pull the vault from And next up, we have the Demon Hunter. She's the last one we have to look up this week. Uh, I only did a single key just, you know, just to kind of change it up a little bit with the frustrations I was having with the monk. So I did a lower key just to maintain some gear on her. Uh, but yeah, it, it felt great. I mean, Vengeance DHs can lock down the packs super easily on their own with sigils, with chains. And then they're just, they're unkillable. Magic damage does nothing to the moose. So... Yeah, simple, easy key. It was fun. We're going to open the vault on her and see what she got. Uh, out of upgrades, just still the one from last week, right? So nothing crazy, but yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we get in our vault on the Demon Hunter in Havoc spec. <laughs> I don't even know if that's good. One sec. I mean, it's not great, but it is an upgrade over Midas, so why not, right? Like, let's just take it for the stats. Why not? So this week we managed to acquire two new mounts, one being the infinite armor dawn for getting 2k IO in Mythic Plus. I think this is really cool. I like the color scheme of this one. It was the blue one and this one I like the most. I think I'll use this one the most on my Death Knight. I do like it quite significantly. Yeah, really cool mount. You know, and the the search is finally over. We have the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent from the Shaw of Anger in Mist of Pandaria, meaning now I officially have all of the world boss mounts from Mists of Pandaria. I got this on my last alt that I was farming it on, and I have 13 of them. 
So yeah, it was all day just sitting there farming, switching it up. Finally got it. I am super excited. This is a fantastic mount. I love how it looks. The next mount I'm going to try to farm out is uh, Elegon from Mogushan Vaults. So that's the one my characters will be parked in front of now, and that's the one I'll be working on. But yeah, so the Battle of Shaw of Anger is now over. So the plan for this week, as always, we have a raid that we're going to be doing here tonight. Both the Monk and the Death Knight will be going into raid, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping to get some gear out of it. We shall see. We're going to try to push keys, of course. Uh, this week we have Tyrannical, Incorporeal, and Spiteful. Spiteful might be annoying, but actually that's not a bad level 10 affix. Um, and then Afflicted, I believe these are the ones that... We you have to dispel. So that one's not too bad to deal with. Dispelling is totally doable. I can dispel. Um, although there are a lot of dispels in the dungeons already that you have to deal with. So we'll really see how that goes. So outside of Raid, outside of Mythic Plus, I'm going to try to farm for the mount. Uh, from the Elegon mount. Maybe we'll get lucky. Because uh, so far we're 2 for 2 in Season 4 weeks where we've gotten mounts. And then yeah, I might... Uh, this week is the four mythics get two bullies so i'm actually excited for that so i'm definitely going to knock out four on most of my characters even if they're zeros i do want to do that because i believe zeros even count towards the vault now i want to try not to get too stressed out about finishing or not finishing um i noticed that i've just you know had this anxiety of falling behind or not doing well enough i obviously am when it comes to keys my my push team is way ahead of me like i can't even keep up with what they're doing right now so Probably going to take a break there until I can get my Aspects item levels up great. to where it should be. I need at least 510. They're doing 12s or higher now. So that is a 22. So I'm going to focus really hard on getting the my keys up to be able to help. And yeah, so this week is the two bullions, which means I can get the other ring. Or I can get myself a trinket. So that is something I'm looking forward to. Definitely on the monk and on the DK. And I mean, why not do it on the demon hunter and all the alts that can get a free piece of awakened gear. So... That's what this week is looking like. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys had a great vault this week. Good luck with pushing, raid, or whatever you do, whether it's achievements or just enjoying the game. Get out there, have fun. Good luck in your vaults. And I look forward to getting, getting with you guys again next week. Peace out. All right, and that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button to show me that you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next week.